essentially what an index card is, it's just a piece of card. Pretty much just call it a journaling card. And it has a little tab on it if you desire it to or not. Typical index cards are just blank with lines on them. Like this, I actually don't have an index card on me at the moment, like a traditional one, but I remember using them for school. So they're just a plain card that has lines on them for writing. But in the journaling community, you can definitely use index cards and make it a little bit more special. I want to show you how easy it is to create your own index card using just a simple piece of paper and how you can even turn it into a pocket at the same time. So I just trimmed my piece of paper to match the size of my index card. And now that I have this little piece here, I'm going to glue the bottom and the side only. And now I'm just going to take my corner rounder and I'm going to round the corners on the bottom and on the top. You pretty much already have an index card. We're just going to need to add a tab on the top. For the tab, I'm going to be using this one from my kit of floral tabs that's in my shop. And you instantly have a tab that you can then stitch on right at the top. I just attached my tab only to the front. Make sure you don't attach it to both because that way you're going to close your little pocket. So now that I have the base of my index cards ready, we have the one that we made together. And now we need to transform a little vintage recipe card and a simple tag into an index card. So I'm going to put these aside for now and I'm going to decorate these two. For the recipe card, I think I'm going to add a tab using some of that vintage wallpaper and I'm just going to fold it in half, just like so. Cut off a little bit of the excess so it's not too big for my card. Round the corners, <laughs> how cute. And I think I'm going to add it right along the edge over here. But before I glue it down, I know I want to cover up these little measuring spoons. I love this fabric. Oh, this looks so cute. And then I just place my tab right along the top there. So look at how cute that looks. So the base of this index card is decorated. And now let me move on to the tag. How can you take a tag and turn it into an index card? I'm going to cover this up with this really sweet illustration that's part of the kit. And we're going to turn it into a tuck spot. Adding glue on the corners and on the edges only. Flip it over and then just cut the excess. Making sure you don't cut along the tag. You want to turn this into a card, not turn it back into a tag. Just rounded all the corners and now I'm going to add the tab. I think this is the tab that I want to use. It's an image of some flowers from a magazine. Oh, look at how cute that looks. And I'm just going to glue it right on the top. Just like that. So you can even make the tabs from magazine pages. So I have all of my index cards, my pocket index card, my blank ledger one, my floral background one, and then the ones that we altered. The recipe card index card, and then the one that we used using a tag. So we have all five cards ready to be decorated with our words, with our ephemera, our pictures, and our sentiments. This is when you can really have fun and bloom with your index cards. These are my little plates that I keep on my desk of sentiments. Whenever I have a new magazine, I go through and I pretty much pick out all of the sentiments, the writings, the scriptures that I really enjoy different style of fonts and I usually place the bigger ones in this plate and then the smaller ones in this one. You can also find words and sentiments from books. This book is called Strange Dreams and the drawings are a little creepy. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really like the drawings so much but I liked the scripts on here because it looked as if someone stamped these quotes and these poems on here. And this is a sweet little gem that I have. It's a little book of sentiments with images on here and I absolutely love this little book. I think I had it since I was probably in high school, never used it, and I thought it was the most precious thing and I recently just found it when cleaning my studio. So I definitely will be looking at some of these pages to include on my index cards. Let's set these aside and start decorating. Ah! Okay, first one. So, so exciting. Ooh, what should I do with you?
I'm just going to fuzzy cut this little sentiment that says happiness is free. Add glue. I have this piece of paper from a digital. This scrap piece of paper here. Adding some authentic antique wallpaper. This little piece of fabric. So adorable. And then add this right on top. This is adorable. So I think this one is officially finished. And I'm just going to fuzzy cut around the flowers so that it doesn't take up too much space on my index card. I just want to cut out the sentiment and then this sweet little flower here, I could add it at the bottom to bring in some color. Clear your eyes, clear your heart, and let it go. So adorable! For this one, I want to keep it a little bit more simple. The easy way to approach this is by cutting your sentiments and adding it right on top. However, I kind of want to journal on this. I want to see my handwriting. And I think I'm going to add one of these sweet little labels up here at the top. And I'm going to add a little piece of this paper, just a scrap piece. Let me cut my excess off. Add our scrap piece of paper. And then let me just round the corners. And I'm just going to fill this in to give it pretty much a border. And so it has a little bit of color. And this is the La Plume in peppermint color. Write it in your heart. I think I'm going to add this to the tab. And then I'm going to actually write what's in my heart right now. I found one of my sentiments that says one of a kind. And I think I'm going to add this right up at the top one of a kind recipe and I'm going to write on here a recipe that I am loving at the moment. So adorable! This would be so cute to make little recipe cards and alter them like this as well. Beautiful one of a kind recipe and write the recipe on the front and on the back or just do journaling. So simple, so cute. I just added a little border at the bottom with a red marker to make it look as if there's stitching on there faux stitching with a marker. The easiest and most affordable way to stitch your papers with marker. <laughs> and the last one, let's see. Asked the artist. Ooh, I like that one. I really liked this green. It's with subscription, but I'm just going to cancel <laughs> the subscription. Oh my God, that's really cheesy. <laughs> with, we don't need the subscription right now. Let's just save that for later. The artist. So much fun to do this using little sentiments for magazines or book pages with the artist every day. Oh, yes. This is from one of my kits. I always like to include sentiments when I can because I know how important it is to tell a message through words. And sometimes writing isn't enough. You need the help or you need the guide of some sentiments that are already created. And this is why I love magazines and why I love creating my own sentiments. It inspires you tremendously. Before I glue this on, I'm actually going to take this to my sewing machine and stitch around it. And then I'll add the sentiments right on top. So I think I'm going to take these to my sewing machine, stitch the ones that needed to be stitched, and then I'll come back and add the sentiments right on top. I have these ready to be stitched and I'm going to be using this turquoise thread as I think it matches the index cards better. I was going to use red but I thought it would be a little bit too intense. We'll see. But I can always go back and add red details with marker. So I'm going to take that beautiful teal thread and start stitching all of my index cards. One of a kind. So cute. Ah! <laughs> Just finished stitching all of my sweet little index cards. All of them are one of a kind. And I'm ready to journal on the ones that are ready to be filled with my thoughts. Ooh, we have a straggler. <laughs> Let's get these to the table before they start falling down. <laughs> So I just brought these from my sewing table and I did not forget about this one. We needed to glue the sentiments right on top of it. The artist, 
and the artists are you guys. Everyone in this amazing community. We are all artists and we are all creating beautiful things every day. Or at least trying to. <laughs> as long as you're doing something creative every day for yourself. And then if you have the time and you want to share your gift with others, try to do something every day to inspire someone else. So here we are. Oh, this is so cute. They all have their own personalities. I saw this beautiful quote on one of my sentiments right here, this one. And I want to write this on my card. It connects you and your artwork a lot more when you're using your handwriting. But if not, use sentiments or quotes that you already have. Two people. Beautiful. Oh, so cute. I think I want to add some lines over here to mimic stitching like we did on the other one. Even though we did stitch it, I want some red stitching on the edge. Five beautiful index cards, some of them having sentiments from magazines, from books, from digital kits, patched together to create really special index cards. Some have our own words, our own writing, and some are left to be filled with our thoughts and recipes. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed and loved this project. How simple it is to use an index card to alter any index card or even recipe cards, to use tags to create the effect of an index card, to start from scratch with just a simple piece of paper, or start with a pre-made card and decorate it with your own sentiments, images, and writing. I hope you all loved this project and I can't wait to see what type of index cards you guys end up creating and how you start using them in your own personal journals or the journals that you make for someone else. Sending so much love to all of you and have an incredible day. Bye-bye and see you soon.